So, so let's say this right, right back to the very, very beginning. Where did the show come from? Where did the idea come from? And, and what was the adventure like to get it to the screen? Well, it, uh, it came from where, where all great ideas come from. The head of the network calls you and says, you have to write a, a show about an asteroid. Um, so <laughs> that's sort of what happened. I mean, actually, um, uh, the head of the network had a script, and it was uh, about an asteroid. But uh, they didn't really know what to do with it. And they called us up and said, we need a summer show. Uh, will you and Craig take a look at this script and, and, and see if you can come up with something? Because uh, we don't think this script is quite, quite right. So we read the script and we said, no, we would start all over. We'd do this, we'd do that. And they said, okay, well, um, we need a script in 10 days. Do you think you could write something? And we kind of laughed and then realized that he was serious. And so then we started to really dig in. And um, it's sort of that Malcolm Gladwell thing, you know, 10,000 hours. We've had probably 10,000 hours of uh, writing together. This is, we're married. Oh, yeah. Not. Save the applause. Yeah. No, not, not all three of us. No, no. exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, but so we got in a room uh, and we, you know, banged out a script and it sort of all made sense and uh, it was kind of a weird thing. I'm sure you've all had this experience where you could work on something forever and it never quite takes shape and then uh, you work on something for, you know, you have a paper due or something and you just sort of cram it out and then you're like, well, you know, this is pretty good. So. It ended up just going straight up the pipeline, and the next thing we knew, we had a greenlit series about an asteroid, um, which, if I'm being honest, science was my worst subject, so uh, <laughs> I had no idea how this happened to me. Uh, but uh, uh, Craig is a huge sci-fi fan and all of that, and we had actually worked on Extant. I don't know if you, any of you saw that Halle Berry series. Nice. <laughs> so, well, oh, that's why it's not on the air anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Miss um, Barry. Only one but um, uh, we fell in love with this because we realized it's it's really a story about human beings and how we react um, when faced with an extinction level event, which is something we can all relate to probably at this moment in time because things seem a little extinction like in our country right now. But so it became sort of a metaphor for other things, and um, we we kind of fell in love with these characters.